might as well make this video. I mean, shoot. If a person, if people got nerves to defend it as much as they want, I might as well quit holding my tongue. I might as well make this video, right? I might as well make it. I already know that I'm about to get a lot of flack for this video. That's why I already put the warning in the, uh, in the uh, comments. I already put the warning in the title. I, I just already hear it right now. I can already see the comments, the dislikes, all that stuff. And I'm about to go ahead and spread it right here, right now. So, okay. Okay, where to begin? So, as I have not realized, Nintendo has been freaking, how can I say, releasing Wii U games to Switch. Okay, okay. Is there a problem with that? No. But the attitude towards, towards this is hypocritical. Yes, I just said that, hypocritical. Now, I'm going to explain to you why it's hypocritical. Okay? So, okay, so let me explain to you why it's hypocritical. All right? Well, first, I'm going to get the uh, big issue out the way is, I hear people always say, I never had the opportunity to play this. I never had the opportunity to play this or that when time was was by. Only only person who can make that excuse is a little kid or a kid who can't afford video games. That's the only time that excuse is acceptable. All right? So, when it comes to the Wii U and its games, all right? You always had the opportunity, the chance. You always did. But if you choose not to buy those games, then that's your chance. That's your chance over with. That's that's done. That's done for Nito. That's your that's your chance it's over with. That's done for Nito. Alright? I already gonna I already know this. People are gonna say, oh, the Wii U's dead, the Wii U didn't sell well, the Wii U failed. Well, that's because so many people chose not to buy that system. All right, but because but if you chose not to buy a system, then don't go around saying, "Hey, look, I didn't have an opportunity to play this game." No, you did, and you chose not to. That's one big point out the way. All right. So. I can excuse Pokemon Tournament and Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda was coming out at the end of the Wii U, um, and Pokemon Tournament came out in 2016, which which at, what, it came out in March of 2016. It barely got any um, sales because Nintendo has already announced they're talking about their next system. Well, this year, here are you are people are really, really people going to buy a um, a game when Nintendo's ready to announce their next system? You feel me? So games like if, so if games like Tokyo, Star Fox, and freaking um, Pokemon got ported to Switch, I'd be happy with it. But if it's a game that got released in 2014, yes, two years the the Wii U was on the market two years ago. Well, actually three years ago, like Mario Kart. And you said you never had the opportunity in a span of three years. You never had the opportunity to go get a Wii U or Mario Kart 8. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's the that's 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 what I'm getting at. All right, people. That's our uh, that's what I'm getting at. All right. All right. I understand. If finances came into play and you couldn't afford a, a, a Wii U or you was a little kid and your mother only said one system, I can understand those reasons. But the fact that you chose not to and now you're complaining that you didn't have the chance, you're hypocritical. Hypocritical. Now, my second point to this is the slap in the face that Nintendo is doing. Okay, all right. I understand that you need this. I understand that you need these games to sell your Switch, but don't. But how are you going to give the guys who refuse to buy your games the first time around the opportunity to buy uh, to buy your games the second time around more than you do the other guys? My stand on this is: if you're going to port the game over to Switch, 
Well, we used to give something to the guys who had the game first. Because I felt like we got cheated out of a battle mode. It was Pokemon tournament. Even though we had the game updated, the Wii U players don't get nothing. The Wii U players don't get nothing. Which is... Well, I said, okay, so we got Pokemon tournament. But these guys are getting a Pokemon tournament with all the bells and whistles. And you're just going to leave us dry. That's like a slap in the face. To compare it to anything, it's like giving the guys that work the less more money than giving the guys who work the most less money. That's and that's the best way I can put that. I feel like it's a slap to the face to guys who stuck with Nintendo through the Wii U. Now, a lot of people are disbanding this and saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I get to play this because I got a Switch. You paid money for a new console to play the game that you already own. For stuff that should have been in there. That's just the problem. That's the problem that we let. That's the problem that we let because oh, oh, it's got more stuff on the the Switch version. I I I'm obligated to buy it. But that game came out in 2014. 14. Pokemon tournament. I understand, but you already had the Wii U player set up to get those players. And instead of giving the Wii U players their their players that you had them update their game for, you left them dry. So not only did they have a dry version of a game and left, that's most likely going to be forgotten. I, I, look, I get it. The Wii U failed. I get it. I say it. The Wii U failed. I get it. It failed. It failed. It failed. It failed. You hear it from my mouth? It failed. I get it. But I'm not going to bite my tongue because you want me to hear me say, well, these guys didn't get to play the game, so now they got the opportunity to play it. I'm not going to lie for these guys. I'm really not. Right. I'm not going to say, hey, look, oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. You didn't get to play the game the first time. I understand. You didn't get to play the game the first time. It's not like they didn't have a chance. And it's, oh yeah, no, oh yeah. Nintendo just kept all the Wii U's away from everybody, you know. They said once this game sells, like this many copies, they're taking it off the, the shelves, all this crap. Oh yeah, man, you didn't get to play it. But that game was still on the shelves through 2014, 15, 16. Mm. The Wii U was on the shelves through 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16. And some, and some still exist in 2017. So, never mind the fact that you couldn't never play the game. If you're a grown man saying, oh, I never had the opportunity, I skipped out on the Wii U. Do you think you deserve to play this game because you skipped out on the Wii U? No. That's like saying, oh yeah, boss, I missed that day, but it's, oh yeah, boss, I stayed home just to play video games. But hey, look, I still deserve a paycheck. You stay home to play video games. Your work didn't get done. People say, I'm glad I skipped out on the Wii U because now all these games are coming over here. That's like saying, I'm glad I skipped out on the work because now I get more extra money. I stay home and I'm still getting paid. Hey. But what about those guys who still have their Wii U and doesn't refuse to buy this extra content, buy these games for the extra content? So they have to miss out because they already own the game. They already own the game. They have to miss out because they, they already own the game. Oh, yeah, you guys already got the game on your platform. But we also want that content as well. That's not fair. I, I understand. At least bring it to them like at least a week or something after. Like, you're already getting your Switch sales. Bring it to them like a week after. That's my whole stance on these Wii U to Switch points. And you know what? This video had to be made. I was ready to say it so i'm gonna refresh you on why i'm why i put it in the mind all right so my problems with it the lesser games that didn't actually get no chance to sell like star fox tokyo mirage sessions and freaking um Pokemon tournament they're going to get out with it because people are going to want the smash the bayonetta and the freaking um mario kart they're not going to sell well okay all right 
Yep, yep, baby. Uh, that's, 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 that's the one. That's just the one. The one point I'm bringing up. Okay, it's a slap in the face to guys for the Wii U. All right? Nobody, if the Wii U guys, I'm not slapping down $300 for your console. I will slap down $300 for a Switch for arms because that's brand new. I will slap down your Switch for Splatoon 2 because that's brand new. I will not slap down $300 for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with extra content that we should also be getting because we had the game. <laughs> because we, we had the game first. You're selling your Switch. You had this version on another system. Alright? You didn't do this with the GameCube and Wii. So why this shady business practice now? I do call it shady because, again, we you guys had this, but they have to miss out unless they shout more money for another copy of the game, which they should not have to. And, it's, and people going to be like, oh, it's your fault for buying a Wii U. Well, guess what? It's not our fault. We didn't know the Wii U was going to turn out this way. We didn't know this stuff. You can't, we can't see into the future predicting this stuff is going to happen. We couldn't. <laughs> so it's not our fault. It's Nintendo's fault if anybody else. It's Nintendo's fault if anybody else. Because they're the ones who failed to market the console right. They're the ones who failed to put it in the public eyes, get out of the confusions. They're the ones who failed at that job. Uh, that's their problems. Do I have a problem towards the Switch? No. I, my problem is with Nintendo and how they handled the whole Wii U failure. They thought that, hey, look, just port these games over with extra content. Just leave those guys dry. Nobody didn't buy the system, so nobody's not going to buy those versions when they come out. Truth of the matter is, what if somebody's not ready to pick up the Switch yet? And they still have these versions. So they got, so you're going to force them to move over? That's forcing. And to be honest, quite good with you, I'm not okay with that. But, hey, I said my piece. I ain't holding my tongue. Bring on all the hate comments, all the dislikes, all you want. My mind is not going to change. So, anywho, I said my piece. My tongue been hold, held for too long. I'm out. Deuces. Say what you will, but that's how I feel about this subject.